Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome to Lambda Test. I am very excited to start a new series on Playwright. In this video, we are going to learn what is Playwright and how to set up the VS Code and also we are going to learn how to install the Playwright and followed by we are going to see how to execute a sample test script that is bundled with the Playwright setup itself. So what is Playwright? Playwright is a Node.js library that is used to automate Chromium, Firefox and WebKit with a single API. Playwright is built to enable cross-browser web testing. Now, for those who do not know what is WebKit, WebKit is basically a browser engine developed by the Apple and is it is used in Safari web browser and also in the iOS web browser. Playwright by Microsoft is a fork of Puppeteer. For those who do not know about the Puppeteer, Puppeteer is a node library that is used to automate Chromium browsers with the JavaScript API and it is mostly used by the developers but of course testers can also use and by default it runs in the headless mode. Playwright is really a good tool and it has lot of capabilities. Let's see few of the highlighted about the Playwright. So it can handle multiple pages, multiple domains and iframes and also like window handling concept, the alert, everything is bundled within the API. We can intercept the network for stubbing and mocking network request. We can emulate mobile devices, geolocations and permissions. We can do only the emulation. We cannot uh, run the Android or uh, the iOS native application. But of course, we can connect our physical device like Android device and we can execute the test in the Android Chromium browser as well. It supports native inputs like the keyboard actions and the mouse actions. For example, in Selenium, we have this actions class where we do lot of advanced user interactions like drag and drop, um, mouse over, right? So all those possible with the Playwright as well. And it also supports upload and download of any kind of files. In the recent version of Playwright, that is 1.22, we have component based testing as well. And the beauty of Playwright with TypeScript or the JavaScript is like, it has its own test runner called Playwright test runner, which is really good. So if you want to take the screenshot or if you want to take the video, just a single configuration and it will work across all the test script. It is really, really helpful. And of course, it supports the Docker as well. Now let's get started to do the setup. So prerequests are very simple. We are going to work on the TypeScript. So for that, definitely we need the Node.js. And then followed by, we are going to use the VS Code editor. And also we need the VS Code um, extension for Playwright, which will make our installation setup very easier. Let's get started now. First of all, we are going to create a folder. Let's say that it's going to be like learn dash playwright. Okay. And before getting into this, make sure you have node. So go to your C command prompt and you can type like node dash v to check the node version. If anything above than 14 is present in your system, then of course it's fine. Or else simply you can just Google and uh, download Node.js and you can do this installation. That's going to be very, very simple. And followed by, of course, my choice will be always VS Code and that installation is also very easy. You can just go through it, okay? So once we have created the folder in the command prompt, I mean, in the address bar, you have to just bring your command prompt by typing the CMD. And here I can say like code dot that will bring my VS Code, okay? Let's close the command prompt and also the folder. And here you can see that learn playwright, that is the folder we have created. Now we are going to navigate to this extensions section. And here we are going to search for playwright. There are multiple playwright extension available. The first one is from the Microsoft and we are going to make use of it. Just click on the install. And that's it, we are pretty much done. Now you can just use control shift P to bring the command palette. And here I can say like install playwright. So here you can see like we are getting the suggestions like install play, right? Click on that. Then for by it will ask you like whether you want to install the Chromium, Firefox and the WebKit. So basically Playwright supports all the major browser, browser engine and we are going to use all the three. Okay. So I'm going to click on this. Okay. There is an option to add GitHub actions, but I will recommend you to skip this now. Mostly we are going to execute our test in the Lambda test platform as well as in the local. So for now this is not required okay so let's click on this ok button so this is like 
with the help of extension we are doing this which is very very easy or else you have to create a project like npm init dash y and then you have to add the dependencies then you have to add the uh, chromium firefox and the webkit browser with the help of command like npx playwright install but this visual studio code extensions makes our life very very easy okay Okay, so the installation is completed and here you can see a message like happy hacking. Um, so basically like here also you can see like some of the comments have been given so that we can execute, but we are not going to make use of it now. And here you can see like we have got this Chromium browser, the Firefox and the WebKit as well. Okay, so these are like browser engines. Now, if I go back to my package explorer, this one is like explorer that is kind of package explorer. So here you can see like within the test folder, we got an example test and which is really small test, I believe not a small. Uh, actually, it has like lots of tests. Okay. So if you want to execute this here, you can see like you can find some green color icon. This icon is basically coming from the extension that we installed now that playwright uh, extension okay so just to make sure like it's going to work i'm going to click on this green color icon that will execute only one test within this file so here we can see like here you can select waiting and waiting like in the uh, real time we can see like which line is going to execute with the help of that playwright extension okay and the test is also completed here you can see like green mark but you might ask me hey kaushik i didn't see the browser itself the reason is by default it runs in the headless mode and we are going to make it false now so let's go to our playwright.config.ts file and within this we have like use and here i'm going to say like headless and i'm going to make it as false okay do not worry about all this file we will delete this file in the next video and we'll try to create our own config file and we'll like do uh, everything step by step so this is just like to make sure that our installation is success and we are able to learn from the next video okay so i'm going to click on this run again and now we can see the browser in real time so here you can see the chromium browser that's going to execute on the particular test and it's completed and it's insanely fast okay so that's it for this video it's going to be very very easy uh, if you know the javascript or the typescript if you have the very basic knowledge on that learning playwright is going to be really fun and it is really easy so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you have any queries, please feel free to ask me in the comment. I'll be happy to reply back. Tata bye bye. See you.